Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. So if you're in the market for some luggage for your motorbike because you haven't bought any yet, then stay tuned. I'm going to be talking to you today about luggage, specifically soft luggage from Krieger. Now I've got two motorbikes in my garage. I've got the R BMW R 1200 GSA and I've also got the Yamaha Tenere 700. I have two sets of kit from Krieger, the OS kit from Krieger, uh, one for the BMW, one for the Yamaha. I'm going to show you what comes with them, uh, how to install them, and what I think about it versus hard luggage. So if that's of some interest to you because you're in the market for some luggage, keep watching and let's get into it. So let's start with the BMW first. So I have a 54 litre uh, combo for uh, the BMW, so I've got a 32 bag that goes on the left-hand side of the bike, or the non-exhaust side, and a 22-litre bag that goes on the exhaust side. They are fitted with two uh, platforms like this. This is, this is made up of nylon six, so uh, according to Krieger, virtually indestructible. And so you get two of these, and they attach to the, the frame that you get with the, with the BMW GSA, the, the luggage frames that are already there. Now, as you might imagine, on one side of the bike, the frame is not, uh, it's not a vertical platform. And so when you're, in, when you're trying to fit uh, these, uh, these mounts for the luggage to your BMW, for the exhaust side, you will also get this, um, this adapter here, which means that when you fit this to the plate, the mounting plate, it means that uh, when you connect it to the BMW frame, that the profile of this is straight and not leaning in uh, as the frame indicates. So you get this for one side and then just one plain plate for the other side of the BMW. Now connecting those to the frame on your bike, you get 10 of these U-shape um, bolts and uh, brackets that come with the kit. And then that allows you to uh, secure the frames to your, the, the platform to your bike as you see fit. The challenge that you may have, now on my bike, I've got a toolbox attached to the frame as well. So that restricts a little bit where I can put those U-shaped brackets and connectors for the, uh, for the uh, OS platform to the motorbike. Uh, but I, I'm able to do it with no problems whatsoever. Um, generally takes around about four U-shaped uh, brackets to secure the platform to the to the bike and on the other side I do the same as well I, I, I use four and then that's eight that I've used in total and I take two U-shaped brackets with me as spares. And so the so this this is the 22 litre uh, pannier for the BM for my BMW. Uh, really nice. So you've got um, uh, I would I would say it's it's even though it's soft um, it's quite sturdy, right? It doesn't collapse on itself or anything like that. I mean, the, the OS bags for the Tenere are slightly different because they're not as firm and solid as these. So whilst these aren't so, um, like hard, like the, the kind of hard luggage that you get, um, they, they are not uh, collapsing in on themselves. So they, they stay rigid uh, because of the, the way that it's made. And these are brilliant, right? So um, as you... If you're not familiar with the Krieger luggage or these soft luggage bags of this type, um, the just undo the top. So the buckles that, that uh, secure the top closed, they're just slide in slide in brackets. There you go. Okay, so that just slides in to the loop at the back there. And you've got two clips on the side, one either side. And the tops are roll and fold. So inside you've got a waterproof uh, inner lining. And the, the way that you uh, keep that waterproof in the rain is that you roll the top down three or four times. And then just secure it by putting the, the buckle in on the side. You have two for the top and you also have at the bottom you have these the same loops and buckles here as well and what these will do these will slip through the mounting plate that you put onto the bike and that is how these secure to the mounting plate and once they're on they're, they're not coming off they're, they're really really good so that is the 22 litre 
for the exhaust side and of course I've got the 32 litre for the other side. So that's the BMW, right? I'll show you how to fit those in a moment. For the Tenere, slightly different setup. So the first thing you're going to need is a mounting pad, okay? Or, um, and it, it, you get different ones for different types of bikes, right? So this one for the Tenere would not suit a KTM, for example, right? So it would be a different shape. So you need to make sure that you order the right one for your specific bike. And so the way, I'm gonna show you how this attaches, attaches to the bike, but you're gonna need that mounting pad, first of all. And then I've got a 36 litre setup for my Tenere. So two 18 litre panniers for, for the bike. And it connects in the same way to the pad as these do to the mounting plate. And that is, you've got, this time it's on the sides. You've got the same kind of miniature mounting brackets and they slip into the loop there. Okay, and it closes and opens in exactly the same way. You've got a, a, bra uh, a clip on top and these just roll down three or four times, secured on the side and one over the top. And as with the BMW panniers, you've got a waterproof, a white waterproof inner liner, which you can take out and wash as you can indeed, you can do with the BMW ones as well. And so it's really straightforward. So the one thing that I would suggest uh, in mounting the, your, th these OS luggage to either your Tenere, if you've got one, or a KTM using these types of mounting pads, is that once these are on, once these are secured onto the bike, they're at, it's a little, bit, a little bit of a pain actually to get these bags onto this plate. And that's because when the, uh, this is secured to the bike, you've got to slip the, you've got to slip the, the, the holding brackets through these loops, right? And when these are on the bike, it's not actually that easy. It's, it's a, bit of a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. So my recommendation would be attach the bags to this mounting pad first, and then secure this to the bike afterwards. Once it's on, that's absolutely fine. Um, you, you may or may not need to take your bags off, uh, depending on where you're going to be, or if you're doing a multi-day trip and you're gonna be staying overnight, you need to take them off. My recommendation, just to make it a lot easier for you, and I'll show you a little bit later on, is take the, take the bags off by removing the pad. Uh, it's no more troublesome or time consuming than what it would be to remove the, the bags from the, the mounting pad and I'll show you why that is shortly. So that's essentially the kind of kit that I've got from Krieger at the moment. Um, I've used both of these bags in different trips uh, for the BMW and the Tenere and I'm more than happy with what they've got. They give a 10 year guarantee Get a warranty on these uh, on this kit and so if the straps fail or anything like that um, then Krieger will sort you out with the replacements um, and I I'm very happy with the service that Krieger offer. So what are the pros and cons of using soft luggage over hard luggage? So let's talk about the pros first of all. For me they give added protection to the bike right so if you were to come off uh, the soft luggage adds more protection to the bike and also you as a rider as well. If you get hit at speed by one of those uh, hard cases uh, that as you may slide off or the bike slides long, then you're really going to know about it. This gives protection to the bike and also to you as well. If you get hit by these, um, it's going to do a lot less damage. Fortunately, I can't attest to being hit by either one of those tins on the bikes or this soft luggage. but. I'm quite confident if I'm going to be hit by this, it's going to do less damage to me as a rider than what the hard cases would do. And you've got to remember that the hard cases also have sharp corners, right, and sharp edges. Um, they may not be sharp to the touch, but once they're hitting you at a, at, a, at a rate of knots, then they could potentially do quite a lot of damage. So that's one of the pros for me. Um, one of the other pros as well for me is that I think they look a lot nicer than hard cases. That is just my personal preference. I don't want people writing into me going, don't know what you're talking about, la da da da. It's just my personal preference that I prefer the look of soft luggage on a motorbike versus uh, hard cases. Um, that for me also comes into play when you are lane splitting as well, right? So 
uh, the, the width increase when you put those hard luggage on the motorbike uh, is quite substantial. Not as wide, I don't believe, um, with the soft luggage. Uh, and so I can still kind of lane split quite confidently with the OS luggage on the um, BMW or the Yamaha. I wouldn't feel as confident doing that. It does actually make the bike a lot wider. And so I wouldn't feel as confident as uh, uh, on, on hard cases lane splitting as what I do with these. If you clip a wing mirror or a car with these, it's not really going to do much damage. It could be very different when you're clipping a wing mirror or the side of a car with the hard cases would potentially do a lot more damage. The biggest con for me of having soft luggage is security. Very easy to get into, very easy to take off, um, but it's the getting into that's the concern for me. Now, I do a lot of uh, filming when I'm traveling around, and I, like, I need to have the security of uh, hard cases that they provide in being able to leave my uh, kit in the bags if I decide to park up somewhere and go off for a couple of hours. Um, it's easy to leave the kit in the hard cases secured to the bike. It offers a lot more protection. With these, I don't like to. Um, a, a trip that I did to Scotland last year, I actually had to take, I was on the BMW and I actually had to take one of the panniers with me because I didn't want to leave it on the bike because it had all my camera equipment in it and filming equipment and that therein lies one of the challenges. So whilst I like soft pr luggage and I, like, I prefer the look of it uh, and the safety of it for the bike and for me as well as a rider, I do appreciate that hard cases provide a lot more security for your stuff on your bike. And so what is the likely scenario for me is that I will have a combination of both. So for the panniers on the BMW, I'm gonna stick with Krieger. I like them, I think they look really good. They're quality made product, made here in the UK, and I really, really like the Krieger kit, so no need to change uh, from my point of view. I might add a hard case tail bag or top box to my BMW so that I can do trips where I don't need to be worried about uh, potentially my soft luggage being broken into if they want to take a t-shirt or or a pair of underwear, that's, if they, somebody wants to do that, that's up to them. But it's the camera equipment that I uh, don't want to be stolen. And so I might get a hard case uh, tail uh, top box for the BMW, just purposely for the security. I'd rather not, because I, I prefer the soft luggage, but from a security perspective, hard cases do provide a lot more protection than what the soft luggage do. And those, for me, are the main differences between soft luggage and hard cases. Uh, th there are others, I know, but that for me uh, are the, is my personal uh, reasons for why I go over soft luggage than hard cases. But with that said, let's get into fitting these bags and show you how they fit to the bikes so that you can make a, a more informed decision as to whether you like these and uh, will buy some or not. So let's start with the BMW. Now, as you can see here, I've got a toolbox attached to my Now, as you can see here, I've got a. Now, as you can see here, I've got a toolbox attached to my BMW. That just restricts where I'm able to secure the brackets to the luggage frame with, but I'm still able to do that. The the Torx screws. So the screws that come with the U-shaped bracket, they are a T30. So a, t a Torx 30 head screw. So you're going to need a, t a T30 Allen key or screwdriver, and then simply position your Krieger, try and keep it as central as you can, as you possibly can. So with the toolbox on, it restricts my ability to secure a bracket here. So you just have to find other locations around here that align with the relevant um, bracket, um, uh, bracket, the cutouts for the, um, the brackets and the screws. So I normally start at the bottom and I tend to start on the center one first of all so that one goes in there for me and then all i simply do is put that in there put the put the screw in and then just finish screwing it up with the t30 i'll only do it finger tight for now because i'm i might need to 
be able to slide this pad sideways either way just to be able to get a screw fixing for the next bracket. So with that in mind, uh, what I'm probably going to do now is go for one on the side here. That just slips in there, so that's easy. Right, so that's the second bracket fixed now. And there's still a little bit of play in it, which is which is what I'm exactly what I need to make sure that I can get these as central as possible. There's another bracket fixing up here. So that should be fine there. So I've got three brackets on at the moment. So let's tighten these up just to give you an idea of. So with three brackets on, that is, I mean, even with three on, it's really, really sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. So you need the, the straps at the top undone first of all, and then the straps underneath to be undone as well. So the back side of the the back side of the case, these straps here, these two at the top, and these two at the bottom, are going to go through these two top slits here, and these two top slits on the bottom. These two slits on the bottom, sorry. So I always start with the top ones first because once you slide this through, this bracket catches on here and it just rests so you don't need to keep holding it so first one in second one in pull the bracket all the way through on both sides and then that is the bag resting so you now can secure the rest of the bag put the two bottom straps through the loops at the, through the holes at the bottom whilst the bag is resting there so once that's done you do the bottom straps first of all the second one and then you secure those straps underneath the bag first of all so that when you're doing these two straps up on top that then provides the security from the bottom of the bag push that closed And that one closed. And then for your loose ends of the strap, simply fold them up and slide them in the, in the loop there. That is how you secure Krieger soft panniers to your BMW GSA. Now, in order to mount the panniers to the, to the T7, you need to, to mount the, be, or be able to mount the mounting plate as well. Now, to be able to do that, uh, the two bolts that sit here uh, where the um, luggage rack frame can bolt into, uh, the rear bolt is replaced by one of these. Uh, this is a, a fixing point for the Krieger mounting plate. And so you just take the bolt out that's currently in there and you replace with this mounting cylinder. Just make sure that's done up tight. And so you have one either side, and I'll show you why you need to have those attached. So here's the mounting plate or pad for the um, for the OS panniers, and so that sits over the top of the seat. And these two loops that you have at the top, these two loops here, they go around. The cylinders that you've attached to your bike. So that one goes under there. Let's fix the other one as well. And then the other mounting point or mounting point for the, for the mounting plate is down here. So this strap here connects to the pillion footrest. It goes through the center, loops back around and into the loop there. And let's do the same on the other side. So 
through the footrest and back around and hooks into the loop. Now, all we do now is the two pull loops on the top. We just pull those together and that is now this pad that the bag's attached to absolutely secure. It is not going anywhere. Nice and tight. Problem with this now being on here, fixing the actual bags to this whilst it's on the bike, I have to say is a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's quite fiddly. My recommendation is that you put the bags on the mounting pad first before you then put this on the bike. It's going to be far simpler to do, much easier, and it, it will be quicker, I think, than actually putting this on and then attaching the bags once this is on. It's actually quite fiddly. And so let me show you how the, the bags attach to this. So I'm going to take this off and then show you how the bags attach to it. These four loops here that attach to and slide through these brackets are going to go through in here and out through here on that side and then through here through each of these and then out the other side so that's what we're going to do first of all the loops fed through the first hole now they go back through that hole so what we do now is we loop that one through there. And the other one through there. And that is that side now connected to the platform. And then simply on this side, first one through, second one through. And then through there, through there. Now imagine that you had both on, okay, that's connected. That goes on the bike. Loop goes through first of all on the cylinder at the back. Then this one goes through the mounting, the, uh, the footrest for the pillion, and then connects to the loop at the bottom of the bag and then once the other one's done you would just simply tighten that up and that is the bag and the plate firmly attached to the bike.